Turning wrenches and testing fuel are the responsibilities of an aviation boatswain's mate who works in the fuels department. One of these ABFs is Petty Officer Malcolm Clinton. Uh, as an ABF on you know Bahamas Shard, I do everything from refuel aircraft, refuel marine uh, vehicles, um, refuel yellow gear, uh, which is you know the tractors and stuff that move the aircraft. There are many pieces of military equipment that are essential to an ABF's job, but to Clinton. It's the symbols attached to the military uniforms that are most important to him. I remember when I was really younger, I got my first patch from a C-130 pilot that I met in my hometown. I mean, I was like eight years old at the time. And it wasn't until I got into the military that I realized that, whoa, there's a whole spectrum of different kinds of patches. I mean, there's patches for everything. I mean, you know, I have patches in here that, you know, are for specific, you know, like armaments on aircraft, you know, from aircraft to ships to supply squadrons to even AFN from Sahar from uh, Afghanistan. So I just love the, the variety of it. And some patches stand out from the rest. Is uh, my Royal Australian Navy patch. Um, a couple of deployments ago, you know, we went to Australia and uh, we had a bunch of Australian officers walking around the ship. And I said, excuse me, sir, don't mind me asking. How do I get my hands out of uh, one of these Australian, you know, naval patches? And he goes, you know, I got this one on my shoulder right here. Well, if I were to look the other way, uh, and it was gone when I looked back, uh, whatever. So he legitimately let me take it off of his uniform and let me keep it. So, you know, it's really one of my favorites. Even though each duty station is a temporary home for Clinton, he'll remember every one of them and his experiences in the Navy through the Velcro pieces of military pride he collects. Petty Officer Nicholas Vickery, Fleet Activities, Sasebo, Japan.